Welcome Scorpio to Spiritual Rebirth Tarot. I'm Madeline and today we would like to do the general reading for October 11 through 17. And since this is a general reading, um, it will resonate with some people more than others that are watching this. And so if it doesn't resonate, please go on over to um, other um all parts of going to be your moon sign or your ascending different signs and you can always look up your signs on the internet for free and you just have to um have your uh, birthday time and location so it's a lot of fun to learn more about your astrology and you know when you were born and how things affect your life so um please if this resonates uh, like and share and subscribe to the YouTube channel. So we're going for a thousand subscriptions for this month. So I would enjoy if you subscribe and then have your friends subscribe and uh, let's all come together. Uh, hit the notification so that you can get uh, new videos every week on many different topics. So Scorpio, let's start by asking for uh, guidance here today. Okay, so as we begin, um, we have some uh, fun animals joining us here. Uh, Goaty, my uh, cousin's cousin's dog, and my dog uh, likes to lay over on the bed. All right, so let's uh, take a look at the uh, first uh, oracle deck here, the uh, angels and ancients and so i'd like to look at who will be helping you this week guiding you directing you um, on your journey okay so um, mirror guardian take time to reflect so uh, this is one of my favorite of the guardians uh, she is standing here and it's kind of like she's listening to the constellations the stars the nebulous and uh it makes me think of uh oh you know some of those beautiful beautiful um constellations in and uh things in the milky way this kind of reminds me of the, the milky way She's looking and she's guarding all, all of it. She's really, um, take time to reflect. So she's, she's asking us to look in the mirror. And, uh, <clears throat> you know, actually it's kind of interesting because it makes me think of, uh, Louise Hay talks a lot about, um, mirror work. And so every morning you look in the mirror and you say out loud, I am willing to change. And then your higher self, um, the source of all that is, will begin to bring to you things that will help you to change and other things to say into the mirror. And so one of the great things is every time you see a reflection, say, hey, gorgeous, hey, beautiful. And... Um, it's fascinating because the more you do that, the more you'll actually instill into yourself a, a true sense of uh, love for yourself. You know, we talk about developing self-love. And so Scorpio, um, this mirror guardian will come to you this week and help you to develop self-love in a new way. And in doing that to begin to understand mirror work. So I highly recommend that book. Um, Louise Hay's uh, book, uh, which is called uh, You Can Heal Yourself. And so I really love her work on the uh, mirror, the more affirmations we do. So one of my favorite affirmations is everything is always working out for me. 
and uh, Abraham Hicks talks a lot about the affirmations. So let's take a look at the tarot. This is the Llewellyn tarot deck. You'll see all the different decks um, recommended down below. Okay, so the Llewellyn tarot deck. So the uh, situation for you, Scorpio, being the, uh, the beautiful water sign that you are, here's a watery card. So the uh, page of cups, bringing a lot of romance, maybe a little bit of young, young romance to your life. The, uh, oh wow, this is a very loving reading. The uh, two of cups as your uh, base or your foundation. So um, a lot of times, you know, the foundation is somewhat of the past, but it's, and it's, it's, a, it's that thing that's really helping the situation of this week in kind of grounding. So the, the, the benefit for you is the, the world or the universe. And that just, oh my goodness, look at that. So here we have the Milky Way and the universe in her mirror, and we have the universe card. So that's definitely something to look at this week is the, uh, the universe and how that will affect you. Okay, and they, the universe will be of help to you this week. So the, uh, the crown, uh, what's in your mind is this this one here, the Seven of Pentacles. It's all about patience. Patience for the seeds that you've planted to come to life. And the uh, Seven of Wands is the outcome. And so that's all about, uh, you know, having the courage to, f to fight those battles. And, and he's up on this ledge uh, fighting the enemy. So he definitely has the advantage. So you'll have the advantage in the fights. And you'll have the advantage because of the the romance, the love, the com the camaraderie, and uh, the, the universe and the seeds that you have planted. So the underneath of the deck is the uh, Knight of Swords with the Knight of Pentacles, so we have two Knights, um, the Death card, which is your card, uh, Scorpio, and the Nine of Cups, of the girl sitting in her state of happiness. So let's look at the underneath of the deck first. The underneath has to do with the message from the higher self, the uh, message from the um, kind of like the un the unknown that underneath is the un you know the, the subconscious. So Knight of Swords, Knight of Pentacles. These are probably t the two most contrasting swords, contrasting um, knights, and so and they are going in different directions. So you might feel a little pulled this week into both the state of, you know, patient plodding along toward your goal and oh, I need to get somewhere. I need to go somewhere fast. And so those two sides of you are going to be uh, pulling you in that direction. It could have something to do with the uh, Mercury retrograde with the Mars retrograde. And I do have a video uh, that you could watch on that where it's kind of uh, talking about some of the uh, lessons that we should learn, the things we should think about uh, during this time when both Mercury and uh, Mars are in retrograde. And that starts the, this week, the 13th, 14th. So now the, the Death card with the Nine of Cups, kind of see it as, you know, this... Uh, as, as we go through a personal a personal death, a death internally, we move into this place 
of uh, comp contemplation and happiness. And there's a bee there, and the bee reminds us that on the one hand, it'll sting you to protect itself. On the other hand, it protect, provides you with that uh, wonderful, beautiful, very, very yummy um, honey. And so this, this, uh, this death that you that you go through uh, to yourself brings you to this new level of understanding both of happiness and of sorrow. Okay, so the uh, situation is this uh, romance. You may be feeling a lot of romance. Uh, someone around you may be offering you romance. Um, but there'll be definitely a romantic element to the week and a connection uh, with someone who really uh, helps to bolster you up and has that uh, strength within them. And as this uh, happens, the thing that will benefit you is the abundance of the universe, believing in the abundance that's coming from the universe into your life. And uh, knowing that the seeds that the seeds that you planted in the past are coming into fruition. And then like we were saying that um, during that, you know, because of all these things, you will have the courage to face the, uh, the, the uh, things in life that you need to face and to uh, take a stand where you need to take a stand. You'll have the courage to uh, do that. So I think one of the main messages for this week is this um, the mirror work and also um, just receiving uh, messages from the divine uh, through, the, um, through the Milky Way. And uh, I think some of the energies are very strong. Um, there's this one, one girl that I really like. It's um, Sparks of Divine Healing, I think, out of um, England. And she really uh, talks a lot about the energies, the way the sun is affecting us, the way the moon, um, the other planets and solar system, and how that those energies are affecting us and so you Scorpio may especially be affected this week okay so um, let's go on to the extended and talk about um, we, we really don't have um, a lot of uh, <clears throat> um, you know zodiac signs that just popped up so uh, I'm gonna say Let's do, because uh, this is uh, Taurus and Scorpio. So, you know, you're Scorpio, but you could have another Scorpio in your life or it could be a message for you. So we'll look at Scorpio, Taurus, and I kind of feel like a uh, Leo because there's a lion here. And so let's look at Scorpio, Taurus, Leo, and uh, then also just... Um, you know, blocks for the week, uh, thing, other things that you may be facing, fears and hopes, and uh, advice from your higher self. Okay, so um, please uh, subscribe to the uh, channel and um, like the video, share it with your friends, um, comment below if things resonated for you and how it does this week. I'd love to know. And I'll see you over the extended, the link is below.